Mix Innuendo Bingo. How are we all feeling over there? Are we good? Confident. Confident? Mm. Confident. Not, see, some people get really scared, but there's nothing to be scared of. It's just water. Yeah. Some people are like, I'm really nervous, but I, I'm not sensing that vibe from you. No. Excellent. We're <laughs> ready. We're ready. They're going to get you, Chris. <laughs> That's cool. a fancy hat you've got on there. Thanks for bringing okay. that in for him. Uh, it looks beautiful. No uh, it it's is quite very cold, it, though. It's quite expensive. Huh? How cold the water is. It is it's quite cold, just to warn you. Okay. So, yeah. I didn't know if that was a trick. No, 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 no it's not. No. Well, so what are you going to do with the sunglasses? Are you going to be wearing um, those? I've got false eyelashes on, so I was thinking I might sort of protect them oh. later. Good work. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we've got Daisy, who plays Kim Butterfield, and Anna, who plays Sienna Blake in Hollyoaks, about to play In Your Bingo. The first thing I need to do is fill your mouths with water, please. Here we go. Oh, God, I'm laughing <laughs> already. <laughs> now, Anna, Daisy, Hollyoaks has been on for a, a long time now with uh, a lot of different <coughs> challenging plots. <laughs> <laughs> so I bet you, I bet you were both pleased you weren't given Nana McQueen's storyline here. Look, I had this cleaning job at the rectory, and just before you were christened, there was a bit of a misunderstanding. The collection box went walkies, and and I got fingered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really sadly, I don't have sound, so I could have oh. found that hilarious. Oh no! But... Oh no! Hang on. It was it, very funny. I enjoyed your enjoyment of it. Though. Yeah, it was yeah. very funny. Yeah. Can you hear now? Is that working now? No. Excellent. Um, I'll play it to you again. And I got fingered. There we are. It's uh, <laughs> Nana McQueen there, <laughs> accused of stealing <laughs> from a moment. priest's collection box. All right. Okay. Now we're going to a show called The Job Interview on Channel 4. Like hundreds of people sent us this one, so thank you for sending them in. You remember, we always need your clips. Uh, we get to see real-life interviews behind closed doors on this show. I'd only hate it when the interviewers lull you into a false sense of security and then and they bring out that killer question that catches you off guard. I have to say, when I've seen your CV, I do like the, the little skills chart. How often do you update this? Uh, I update it on about two week to monthly sort of oh, process. Wow. So, so you'll be fives and sixes very soon. Well, I was going to say you're going to have to kind of increase your scoring. Then. And then like if, if yeah, so anything that improves, obviously I'll update it and then. Do you ever knock yourself off? <laughs> 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 just waiting for it. I know. Mm-hmm. It took a while, but we got oh. there. That was a good aim. Yeah. It's a bit zonal at the moment. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who sent that one in. If you spot an innu- innuendo, you can send it to me at scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Do you ever knock yourself off? Now we're going to BBC Two for Antiques Roadshow. Fiona Bruce is discussing a bronze figurine called Betty with one of the experts. Now, I've not actually seen this statue myself, but it seems that like they've caught Betty in a, in a fairly... Intimate moment. She's so charming. Isn't I was she thinking delightful? She would be so commercial, so marketable. Well, she is because she's a charming girl, as you say. She's. It's in the winter. She's got her hands in a muff. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, <laughs> that was so strategic. Right, you see what I mean about his spray. <laughs> oh, right. get him back. Get him okay. back. That was Betty there, keeping her hands, <laughs> keeping her hands Fill warm up. in her cosy. Okay. Cozy muff. She's got her hands in a muff. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's on now. Scott. I think it's on. Ready? Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, you get it. You right, get it. You get it. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's BBC Five Live and it's afternoon edition. <laughs> yeah, straight in Chris's face. Well done, Daisy. <laughs> and again. Water, refill, refill. Anna okay. Foster is discussing the Olympics in Rio. Now, I'm not sure what Olympic event Anna's talking about here, but I do hope they're going to show this one on TV because if they are, I will definitely be watching. There's a debate that's opened up about whether or not, actually, if you've been squashed on a plane to Brazil for however many hours, quite how well you'll compete. I mean, it's bad enough when you go on holiday, isn't it? And then all you really do is walk around and look at the sights and eat some ice cream. But if you're expected to go and go and kind of beat off the best of the rest of the world... Um... <laughs> this is silly. Oh, this, this is, is great now. <laughs> Oh, my word. <laughs> All right. You, the girls are fully getting into it now. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Anna, is that, is that jacket kind of waterproof? Very waterproof. It's great, isn't it? That's good. Also, good. your makeup has not moved. Oh. Also good. waterproof. Ha- Hairsprayed it. Awesome. Oh, now, you're both looking fabulous. It's good. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Go and kind of beat off the best of the rest of the world. Thank you uh, to Paul for spotting that one. Now, more Hollyoaks. Oh, Another clip from Hollyoaks here. Now, I've never lived in Chester myself, but uh, Daisy, Anna, 
Can you tell me, is this like a, a local insult or, or, <laughs> or, or a challenge? Right, Colin here might be a bit thick, but who else are you going to try and fool? But I'm sorry. I can't carry on with this. I'm afraid you can kiss your chocolate star. <laughs> 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 Episode from a very long time ago there, and the guys, of course, talking about a, a chocolate cake. That? What's happened? Oh, my God. What's we're happened? Just, we're, we're I much, didn't even find it funny. We're much closer than usual, Scott, and yeah. it's, uh, it's think, really odd. I think we moved in a bit, Have you, just, you had to ring yourself out there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid you can kiss your chocolate star. I think that's an insult, right? Who knows? No comment. No comment. <laughs> good, good. Water, please. Now we're going to flog it. On BBC One. <laughs> mm. Now, when you've been in the entertainment industry as long as Paul Martin has, the presenter, you can be very specific about how you'd like things done. Let's start at face height. Where would you normally start then? At the bottom and work up? Or... I think we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll start at the top and work our way down. I'd like to do this without gloves on. I think I'd like to feel it going in. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Chris is a real victim now, I like it. <laughs> oh, have we got you the most soaked? Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is wet. Paul Martin there, wattling and daubing. Who? I think I'd like to feel it going in. Um, thank you, Wayne, for sending that one. Now we're going to the one show, and it's guest Isla Fisher joining them on the oh. sofa. Love. We love her. Love her. Yeah. She was on our show recently. Ooh. Now, Chris, you know I've always said I have nothing in common with Isla Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I? Mm. And here's yet another <laughs> here's yet another reason why. Isla, do you want to pop your gloves on? Oh, I've been given some yes. very I never um yeah, I never like to hold balls without gloves. <laughs> you can see why we don't get on. <laughs> He's going up <laughs> You're right. Anna, have you had a nose in? It's gone the wrong way. <laughs> oh Han. It's gone back in. Oh, oh, we've not had a nose one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I never like to hold balls without gloves. Uh, she was talking about the uh, 1966 World Cup final ball there, which she was about to hold. Same, and finally... Same at the lottery, that, isn't it? Same as the lottery. Finally, isn't that a rule? Good one. finally one finally. of our favourites from earlier in the week. Over okay. to Michael Ball on BBC Radio 2. Should we go for this? It's very different yeah. uh, on Radio 2. For Anna and Daisy, listen to what Michael says. And when you get home tonight, if you've got a partner, tell them to put on their favourite song and... Give this a little go. Helen has also chosen some Barry White. She says, Michael, this is my husband Andy cho Andy's choice more than mine. Barry was the backing track to part of our wedding DVD and it's our 10th anniversary this year. As soon as Barry White comes on the radio, Andy plays it full blast. Andy, get that knob in your hand. <laughs> Turn it. <laughs> yeah. This is it. Yep. <laughs> and that was Inyo de Bingo, Hollyoak style. Well played, guys. With Daisy yeah. and Anna, Kim and Sienna. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you so much. Remember, Hollyoaks every night. First look screenings on E4. 